refuse to give up yes. every time you are tempted to give up listen remember all those who are connected to your destiny wow. every time you're tempted to give up remember yes. the fact that god is counting on you to yes. be the person who will end certain circles and let that motivate you and support your staying power to remain until you emerge when you find people who love you for who you are pay the price and keep them swallow your pride and keep them not everybody has that time to love you for who you are this is wisdom there are homes that the moment you see special plates you know visitors are coming they kill chicken and it's the head and the legs that the children eat. You see them standing somewhere around the kitchen as beggars in their own homes. While visitors that will betray you tomorrow, they come and they have the choice meals. I'm planting in you a seed of honor. Beware of neglecting what is close to you. The greatest gifts in your life are the ones around you. Your father, your Before you take any action, yes. before the fasting, yes, before the prayer, before the charity, before the traveling for ministration, before doing whatever you do, get back to your closet and when you are in his presence, ask these three questions. Do I truly love Jesus? Am I motivated by my love for Jesus or my desire to be successful? Or my desire to be famous? All those other let me give you an advice you when you that. stand before greatness don't contribute yes. listen when you stand yes, don't go is. and stand before people you know they are all billionaires respectfully right, speaking sir. you may not have anything yet i'm very quick you are no 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 he's he's, wow. he's not first bank he's um, um yes. access bank how much do you have just keep quiet whether you are right or wrong yes. listen and learn thank you jesus Proof of favor is more than money. Access to the heart of men. That's the proof of favor. You can have money and everybody hates you. There are many things money cannot do. I've always prayed for people and you've heard me say it. That may you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money. Money can fail. It's a piece of paper. Real wealth is men, not things. Men. The only reason why things have value is because of men who value them. Please. Who told you God does not lift? Who told no you God cannot lift a man? It doesn't matter what family you are coming from. Forget about the talk of arrogant men. When God points his hand at you, he can shift anything and lift you. Jesus. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially with the things there are people satan does not have to fight their mindset is already in partnership with him it's a waste for him to invest his energy fighting them but even if you were not there they will still fail because the failure is not really from him the failure is from their perceptions thank you for life thank you for health thank you for favor thank you for salvation thank you for wisdom thank you for mercy thank you for deliverance lord we vow tonight that we treat people with caution yes treat people with courtesy treat people with honor yes you may be a wealthy man someone may be around you wearing a shoe that looks like he just you. got it by the roots yes. yes don't look down yes. on people because of this and that let me see how much do you have wow. who is your father who is your mother be careful Good. the person who is great has already shown you his future right. the one who is coming you don't know how far he can become i hear you papa thank you jesus this is start arguing and moving around rush there and say how can i help you hear that a pastor is in pain don't sit down and be assessing and talking nonsense rush there 
Oh, a woman had a miscarriage. I've always told them, how can I help? How can I pray? Always be there at the point of people's pain. Sooner or later, you will forget what I've preached, but you will never forget the experience.